in the in in the fact that I normally talk about it from God's instinct. You know, it's, right. it's it's something I lived, like you did yourself. And sure. I, I, when you ask me, since I was in it, it's like, well, okay, yeah, what well, well, was good? And then I I normally would give you a very personalized answer to it in stay in well. I think that the best people I've ever met in my life were there with me. And the friendship that I made during those years is the only it's it's the only thing that has survived from all of my other age groups. Uh, and, and probably the best networking I have it's it's it's, it's those people. Actually, if you go to my Facebook, I would say uh, basically seventy percent of all my contacts are people that I lived with for three years. Right. And exactly. And, and, and at least, even if you have other Facebook friends, the place that you spend most of your your moments emailing, that's what I... I, I may have a lot of people on my Facebook, but I spend 70% of my sharing to those people from my base. Right. Right. And see, when, when I went to university, you would say, well... Uh, well, when I went to university and I met another bunch of people at the university, but my university where I would go to and come back each day, since it was in my own town, I did not, I mean, I, I did develop good relationships, but I, but I did not to the level of, of what I developed when I was living with these people. Uh, those are the guys to go to when you really need some, you know, you, you really need a friend, some great comfort, you, have, you go and talk to them. Actually, when I'm in Havana sometimes, I gather them, some of them, like the ones that are in Havana, like Alan, Alexander, Osmani, uh, Rodney, uh, two or three of the girls, and we, we sit down and what we do is just talk about the days. Just talk about the days. There's a thousand stories that come out. Many things that I don't remember. Many that they don't, but I do. Uh, it's it's such a community of, of feelings and and common interest during those years, which in Cuba go from when you're 15 to when you're 18. I also understand it's a time when you're really opening yourself to life, but that it is so important the way I see it. It's so important to be able to walk out, of, walk away from mom and dad when you're 15. It's. Uh, you know, it, it just meant the world to me. And I think it did for most of my friends. Uh, going and being able to live day by day with people who are your age group and who have common interests and the type of relationship and the bonds that I created over that time, uh, they, they need no match in life. How, how many of the future husbands and wives that I know in my life came from people who met during those years. Many, I would say. Right. In many of my friends. Many of my friends went to the same boarding school. So that's how even deep this type of relationship and bonds can get. Uh, and uh, that's, that's for one thing. That Now, that's on the personal level, but uh, being able to, when you are at school and, and you're on a boarding school, like say in my school, we used to have these two hours of, uh, uh, we used to call it self-study. <clears throat> it's a couple of hours after dinner when you go back to the classroom, no teachers are there. They are moving up and down the, the hallways and you call them from any classroom and this can be any subject because you, what you're doing is self-preparation. So the ability to have teachers there at night with you at school it's because uh, it, the system runs like a group of teachers, which is <clears throat> is a group of, composed by a member of one of, each one of the staff, sometimes even two. So like there will be somebody from chemistry, physics, mathematics, electronics, biology, Spanish, literature, uh, um, each, whatever subject we, we were having. There will be a teacher at school at night time. That teacher would even sleep in the school one night a week. And during those two hours, you were 
are supposed to go to your self-study section and the teachers will be interacting with you so that you can, they can sit down with you at night and see to individual differences or to what you would call differentiating instruction here. But you can actually sit down and talk to your teacher or to the teacher from another classroom who is, is there. And you see, to me that was like, if there was something that I just couldn't deal with while I was in the classroom, I said, well, I know, you know, tonight I'll be talking to the teacher. And, and, and that's the way it happened. So that was a, that was a great thing. Uh, having, you know, the, the type of relationship and bonds that are also established with, with the people that, that are the teachers and professors of, of those schools, it's, it's huge. I could probably name each one of the teachers I had during those three years, and I can proudly say at least 50% of those are friends of mine today. We're colleagues, you know, we, we know each other, we know what we're doing, they know I'm here, I know they're there, or, or somewhere else, or even here. It's people that, that came from that same period. Now, how important is it to have a system in which you have your teachers with you uh, in extra hours? Oh, to me, it makes a whole world of differences. Uh, another level would be, well, if being in the boarding school, you also, you do not only go to, go to the classrooms, you also go and do, uh, uh, you do work. Basically, it's farming in Cuba. Uh, depending on the geographical area you are on, uh, well, the farming, which is mostly done in that area will be what you're doing. But then but you also learn a lot and create a lot of uh, cooperation and a lot of uh, teamwork when you have to go with your friends and do something, get something done. Like say you're working on a farming where you're supposed to pick up oranges. You know, the, the type of relationship and collaboration and teamwork that happens during those uh, sessions, sessions are, you know, I think they're forming something in you. They're creating something in you which um, I don't see how it would have happened any other way if I just didn't go through the Baker system. I mean, this is, these are some of them. I could definitely sit down and think more, more truly. Uh, but uh, I, mean, it, it's, I think it made a world of difference. And what I, I particularly remember about going on the farming, what, one of the stories that came up was... Um, I think it was um, Karina who said one of the reasons for doing that was to learn how to become a manager because that person didn't actually do the work. They just walked around <laughs> to right. make sure everybody was right. picking up. She said, oh, this was good motivation. I want to become a manager. <laughs> uh -huh. That is true. Actually, there was a lot of role, that type of role playing in, in the school. See, for example, myself, for two years, I, 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 I managed the dormitory where where I, I, I was sleeping. And that was a dormitory with over, or I think it was 52 or 60. Yeah, I think they, the big dorms would hold up to 60 students, divided in four cubicles of like 15 bunk beds. It's, so there would be like seven bunk, bunk beds. Yeah, about 56. In, 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 and you know, you would do all the checking out who's, who's going to do the cleaning, what they, the, the different chores that needed to be done to keep the, the dorms running, you know, clean and, and safe and nice. And, uh, and there's a lot of the relationship, you know, where you have to actually say who's going to do that, who's going to do this. Uh, you sometimes have to kind of talk to the people because nobody wants to go clean toilets. But it's a thing you have to do. And, you know, it takes, it takes a lot of maneuvering to get people to be happy about having to go clean toilets for one day, uh, it's like, you know, and you, you actually, you learn things when you're dealing with those situations. You learn about management, you learn about, you know, kind of networking with people. Uh, that, was, that was another thing for sure. We called that. Yeah, there, was some, yeah. there would be lots of responsibilities. It's a, it's, a, it's a school that is almost run by the students. 